You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have the pleasure of having Dr. Zhao Rosa. Did I say it right? That's very close. <laughs> close, That's okay, close. close enough. Who is from Bridgewater State, the Institute for Cape Verdean Studies? Correct. correct, correct, correct. And you guys are getting ready not too far away for the big third annual Cape Verdean Conference. Correct, correct. The conference uh, will be held on April 20th and 21st, so it's a Friday and Saturday. We have approximately 32, 33 different presentations on um, many different fields, including uh, I mean, education, culture, law, uh, social justice. I mean, the, the, there are just so many different panels. Um, technology. Uh, we have quite a few very interesting presentations on technology and the role of technology right now in Cape Verde. And, and basically looking at both the opportunities and the challenges facing Cape Verdeans in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're very much looking forward to that. Now, where do you draw the people to the conference from? Uh, is, it, is it academics? Is it community members? Who are you looking to bring? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's an excellent question. Um, well, in terms of the presentations, we've always had a very good blend between the community and the uh, academic realm, academia. Uh, in terms of presentations, what we do is we put out a call uh, mm -hmm. with a certain deadline. People submit proposals. Uh, an organizing committee, an academic committee, evaluates the proposals and accepts some and rejects others. Uh, in terms of the participation in the conference, uh, we've always had this excellent blend between the community and academia. Uh, and uh, it, it has worked remarkably well in the past. So we look for as many members of the community that want to participate they want to learn more about Cape Verde or the Cape Verdean diaspora uh, to, to come in and uh, participate and, and, and learn from the experiences. And, and, this, and you got two days. So if people are working on Friday and they can't go, they Correct. can't get the time off or the day off or the whole thing, they have a whole Saturday option. Oh, absolutely. That they can do, which, absolutely. Is, which is good. I, have you always yeah. done it that way? I'm trying to remember. We, you know, one year we actually did. Three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Um, but I think that the two-day model has worked best. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, as you point out, you know, if someone can come on Friday, they're more than welcome to come on Saturday. Uh, on Friday, we have uh, a very interesting presenter that I think a lot of uh, youth may want to, to look at, which is Dr. Lindsey Grace, who is the keynote speaker he is quite possibly one of the top five game designers in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, so I imagine that a lot of youth uh, may have a lot of questions for him in terms of game design and, and what games can actually do these days and so forth. So it's very interesting. But if someone can go on Friday to uh, see Dr. Grace uh, on Saturday, we have a lot of interesting panels, including, as I was telling you earlier, a presentation by Bob Barbosa uh, on robotics. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of work with NASA and SpaceX, uh, which I think will be very, very interesting, particularly for a younger crowd. Now, question. I've been there before. I've recorded some of them before. I'm probably sure. going to record a little bit, but we want you to go. We don't want you to wait for it to be on TV. We want you to go. Sure. Um, how much in English and Creole mix of it? Yeah. Is that's know, a that's an excellent question. Well. Um, because of our positionality in the world, because we have, you know, populations all over the world, uh, we obviously look at all submissions that get sent in. So, for example, we have this year a presentation from someone from Jamaica who's mm -hmm. coming up for the presentation. We have some from Cape Verde, some from Portugal, one presentation from Brazil. So, it's an international crowd. While some of the presentations may be done in other languages, we mm -hmm. will have um, translations along with the presentation. So okay. if someone doesn't understand Portuguese, you would still understand the presentation because we'll have a translator there okay. to facilitate that communication. Okay, that's good. Now, what yeah. is the cost of attending? Absolutely free. Um, you can't so, beat that. Well, yeah, that, that's, you can't get a better price than that. But um, the conference is absolutely free. Uh, the only uh, issue that we ask of attendees 
is that they register online because it gives us a better sense of the, the crowd. Uh, and the URL for the conference is cvcon2018.com. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And you can register as a general attendee. It's a fairly easy process. Uh, takes less than two minutes, mm -hmm. less than a minute, actually. Uh, and the cost of attendance is free, so we look forward to seeing a lot of people. So I would think with a gamer that you're looking to attract young people, mm -hmm. um, how, how I, I saw it because Louisa and you sent me the email, Correct. so I knew it. Okay. I had a feeling it was coming up, so it was kind of on the radar screen. Yeah. How have you been publicizing to get the word out to let, I mean, yeah. the other colleges in the area like Massasoit sure, where I sure. teach? Yeah, we've actually reached out to area institutions. Uh, we've reached out to academics, departments of Africana Studies. Uh, we've done a lot of the work digitally, mm -hmm. uh, some radio interviews. Uh, I think that r within this particular local region, uh, I think this is the first interview that I'm doing uh, okay. on TV. But uh, we've done a lot of reach out, and all indications are uh, from everything that we see online, from the registrations that we have, and so forth, that it's going to be an extremely well attended conference. It's a good yeah. time, too, because it's during the, the regular school vacation week, Correct. like the April Correct. school vacation. So, Correct. students that might not be able to go during sure. the school day, sure. Brockton Public Schools specifically, Southeastern, where I'm on the school Absolutely. committee, people can get over there. I'm going to make sure I get this over to our superintendent sure, so, sure. so he knows about it. Yeah. So I got the three-minute queue. I told you I'd love to give you an opportunity also to address folks in Creole sure. because sure. I have two shows on. We have Akko Iris and we have Cello and Estina mm -hmm. that are on our channel. If you want to forget about me for a minute, look in that <laughs> camera okay. and sell the conference and tell people in Creole. Sure, absolutely. That, the opportunity. Bridgewater State University, Instituto de Estudos Cavardianos na Bridgewater State University, te convida a comunidade inteira para participar na Conferência Anual de Estudos Cavardianos na Bridgewater State University, dia 20 e 21 de abril. É uma conferência que está é, é durante o dia. É, registro para a conferência pode ser feito online. E não te convida a comunidade inteira para bem para participar no diálogo sobre é, Cabo Verde e Cabo Verdeanidade. Perfect. I got some of that. <laughs> I still tell you, I've I known you a while. I, I, I have to learn some basic Creole. I mean, we have to do the language classes, that's all. Uh, and I got to do them a different way because usually, as you know, a semester class is 15 weeks. I, right, it doesn't no, work. No, 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 it doesn't work that it way. I, I think the way we do languages in this country is not a good way to do it. Well, that's a, whole, I, I, that's a whole segment. That's a different segment. We're, we're going to talk, <laughs> talk about that another time. Absolutely. So uh, make sure that uh, you know about the upcoming uh, third annual Cape Verdean Conference at Bridgewater State University. It's Friday the 20th of April and Saturday the 21st, pre-registration is required. Uh, it's free, so all you gotta do is click on a link. It's cvcon, like conference, 2018.com. It's probably also on the Bridgewater State website Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Um, and the presentations go from 9 to 5.30 on both Friday and Saturday. Great speakers, and uh, go online because all the information is there. Correct. Thank you so much, Mark, for the opportunity to reach out to the community. It's an absolutely wonderful of you to, Glad to. give us that opportunity. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're Thank watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.